Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the Coffee Break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. So, today is the last day of the month of July. That's overwhelming. It's overwhelming as usual, because every time we are at the end of a month, I am quite surprised how fast time flies and yeah, ooh, time flies indeed. Time flies super fast uh, these days. There are so many things going on and um, I mean, oh, there's, there's this angry, ooh, hi, there's another ang ow, ow, angry guy. Uh, gee, can we, can we, can we, careful. Right, that, and now to this skeleton guy. Ooh, hi. Maybe I can. Ooh, there, there. Ow, multiple, multiple ones. Ha. Ah. Right. Oh, there, there's another one. How many? So many. Too many. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm always surprised how quickly uh, time flies when you're having fun or when you're busy, which is the case in. In my life, I'm, I'm way too busy. So many things going on. But that's good. That's good because, um, yeah, it, it distracts me from other things that aren't that great right now. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's good. However, I would prefer to be busy with other things than those things that I'm doing right now. For instance, I would like to be busy with the preparation of my defense because yeah this this is a next super big thing coming up super important thing coming up and when was it i think it was oh, dang it it was midst of this month or start of this month i think it was start of this month or so i took some time to do some some home offers to record some videos for my defense, which I like to show to emphasize and to better showcase certain things of computer games and of learning with computer games. But yeah, since then I haven't had the time, which is a little bit not really my laziness, but just the fact that, okay, I, I have so many things to do at work that when I'm getting back home, I don't really want to continue working and I, I just need some time off the computer so I prefer doing sports as you know and um, yeah then there are some social events which I like to attend and where I like to have fun so all of my evenings are already planned and um, yeah I, I mean I really need a fresh mind to really work on those things and in general I also would like to do some more work on other scientific things at work right now, but not only my my, uh, my defense. I mean, the defense is super important, but there are also other things I like to do, such as writing a paper, which we, we started. Um, it's, it's making good progress, but then there are often other things that where I, I just have the, the feeling, okay, um, yeah, just, just dump all those things that are annoying to my professor or me or so. Well, that's a little bit exaggerated, but um, yeah, I, I'm now suddenly planning uh, some kind of web-based lecture <laughs> talk or so. Should last about 30 minutes for the midst of August, where I should app give this, this lecture to some students who have finished, who will finish soon. I don't know, it, it will be just, just some kind of live stream. So I don't know if you can tune in. I don't think so, but I don't think that the link is provided to the entire world or so, but uh, yeah, this is coming up in the midst of August, I guess. And of course I have to prepare this thing then Oh, this, this is actually some good news. I got feedback for this one paper I talked about, I think last time or some, some episode ago, 
um, where I'm waiting for the reviews to come in. I mean, I already made the revision, submitted it again, and I was waiting for entire months for the next review cycle to be finished. And this happened this week. So today I got the email that, hey, I just need to do a minor revision, which basically means I'm, I'm close to get the thing accepted, which would be super cool. But I really like to get the thing accepted before my reviewers finish their, well, my PhD thesis reviewers finish their reviews because then I can say, hey, look, look at this shiny paper. I have now published everything that is inside of my thesis, which would be just awesome. So um, yeah, I, I scheduled working on this thing uh, for tomorrow that, that I can hopefully submit it if I'm lucky by the end of tomorrow. and then hope that, okay, they soon inform me about, okay, your, your changes are good. Let's, let's accept the paper. Well done. Congratulations. Would be awesome. Would be really awesome. We will see about that. And, um, yeah, for my other chair, there are some, um, changes, changes going on in terms of how to do the administration of their computers and technical things in general. So now everyone, all the employees of the chair have a certain thing they are responsible for. And apparently this is a super big transition or something like that. So there's an idea that we have a weekly meeting for over the course of the entire month of August. And I'm just thinking, um, hmm, guys, I'm... Hmm. I already know all your things. Please, please let me, let me go. Uh, so yeah, there, there's this thing to be determined. And um, yeah, so lots of fun. Lots of fun, I guess, to be had. Speaking of the, the defense, uh, that's, that's also fun. I'm still, still uh, waiting for a date for my defense I I mean that's that's also interesting I, I created some kind of online survey with some possible dates and send it to all the the people that are involved in my defense I think an hour I, I this is already a week ago two weeks ago or so an hour after I sent out that email I got an email from one of the important people stating um well i don't have the my schedule my teaching schedule for the upcoming winter term and my defense will be in winter term so i can't answer it yet i thought no please <laughs> please just just pick a pick a date please i i just want to have this this date especially since a friend of mine He's also working in the same research group, has his defense next week. And um, we, we both submitted our dissertations basically at the same time. I even submitted my dissertation a week, I guess a week before him. And he has now all his reviews and is having his uh, defense next week. And I'm still in the process of waiting for my reviews and um, yeah that's great that's fun right that's pure fun that's pure fun indeed so yeah I think you you might understand that I'm a little bit um, emotional <laughs> in this, this regard so yeah, another thing going on right now, it's well, the end of the lecture period. So it's once again, exam season, hooray. Uh, the joy of, of doing exams. So we had some oral exams, which are over, but I mean, this time we, we changed a little bit the format so it were plain oral exams, each one lasting for 10 minutes or so. But um, yeah, there are a lot of people. So we decided to do slots of 20, 20 minutes each to greet the student, to 
do the oral examination to grade the student to give feedback and next one and it turned out that this was perfect this was spot on so 20 minutes were ideal for this kind of format however 20 minutes also meant that there was no break between students so it was like okay Goodbye student, hello next one. And um, yeah, so on uh, Tuesday I had, we, we examined 13 students, 13 students and <laughs> yeah, today we examined 10 students. So at the end of the day, I, my brain, my brain is, is, is no good anymore. That's also the reason why this episode is a little bit delayed because yeah, it's, it's, it's just overwhelming. This morning, by the way, was pretty interesting because um, I was swimming again and since the pool is outdoors and it was raining, it was quite interesting because, I mean, every time I moved my head out of... Ooh, there, there was some, some sand collapsing. Every time I moved my head out of the water to breathe in, because I'm now doing this... this, this oh, the bed is too far away, I see. Um, because... Um, I'm now able to do this crawling technique, which is super cool. Um, yeah, I, every time I moved my head out of the water, I saw those rain droplets and this was super interesting. This looked super cool, super, super exciting to basically swim in boiling water. But every time I basically looked down again, you, have, you did not see anything of the rain. So. This, this was interesting. This was really an in interesting experience, a cool experience. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, that indeed. Next Saturday, maybe, maybe I do have an interesting story to tell you on uh, Sunday. Maybe not. We will see because next Saturday would be another opportunity for yet another triathlon. But I'm not quite sure if I will do it because for two reasons. Uh, reason number one is I completed, well, my very first triathlon. So I know that I can complete a triathlon. It's, it's so the, the plain urge of basically um, getting this off my list or so of my to-do list is done. And so if the weather is too warm, because I know that my running performance, as it was the case in my in my very first triathlon, is pretty bad when it's too hot. So um, yeah, since since I know this, I don't really like to attend a triathlon if it's once again super hot. The other problem is they changed a little bit the um, the track for for bike the bike track to a rather to a very steep ascent and the road apparently I, I haven't tried this road yet is also quite uneven so there are probably a lot of potholes or something like that I don't, I don't know but it does not sound like fun so there are two two arrivals where I'm not quite sure if I like to attend my second triathlon or if I like to wait if I do so, I will have something to tell you on uh, Sunday. If I don't, then, I mean, I will have other things to tell you. That's for sure. Maybe about the submission of this revised manuscript or so. This could be also a thing. So, um, yeah, there, there's also this thing coming up. YouTube-wise, I... Last weekend had the idea. Hey, I like to. I like to record um, some more videos. I mean, we are currently playing Astroneer, and we have the the coffee break going on. Unfortunately, for some reason, the views of the coffee break are dropping, or basically are no not existent anymore. So that that's really sad. That basically I'm just talking to myself here, and no one is ever listening to it. Apparently which is really sad and which makes it super awkward that I'm still doing it. But, oh well, here we are. Here we are. Maybe maybe someone in the near future is, is, is watching this and um, 
as fun, hopefully. But um, yeah, I last weekend I wanted to record some other videos, other games to mix things up, to have some some more. Ooh, another village to have some more um, content going up on my YouTube channel. But um, yeah, I, I did the the Astroneer episodes on Saturday. On Sunday, I did coffee break. I watched the Formula One race, and after the Formula One race, I was invited to go to a, on a on a cycling trip or on a cycling tour with with a friend, and it turned out to be a. 38 kilometer long cycling trip or so, so it were two and a half hours. And after this this trip, I of course was hungry and tired, and so in the end I did not record anything else. And so it's still on my to-do list, and I fear that basically based on my calendar and my schedule and all the other things I have to do, it will be weekend again until I can record the next episodes of the of Astroneer. So Basically, I'm back to the beginning. I'm back to, to the same problem like, okay, I, I really want to record something, but then there's maybe the triathlon or other things. And in the end, I, I oh no, we are generating new terrain, I fear. And in the end, yeah, there is... And there's then just craziness and in which direction do I need to move to get back to okay that way so we need to move this way all right so yeah um, apologies for not putting putting out so much content right now but um, I, I really like to I, I really like to put out more content but it's yeah I don't know so many things going on as I said time flies time flies when you're busy and so now we are suddenly in the month of um, Ju at the end of month of July. The weather still is hot. We we had some rain, as I said uh, this morning. It was raining, but this makes things even worse because with all the rain, the humidity increases, and so it's not it's so hot anymore. So we are below thirty centigrade, which is good, but still twenty seven to twenty eight centigrade. And high humidity is just as bad, it's even worse, I feel, <laughs> because humidity makes things even even worse, to my feeling. So, yeah, there, there's this problem. <laughs> um, but, it, but, but it's nice. Um, it was really nice uh, this night. I woke up because Basically, I'm I'm directly sleeping underneath a window, so underneath a daylight, and I, I kept this this window open during the night because it's super warm here. And um, when it starts to rain, I of course wake up because I mean I have a window right above me, but I have to close uh, the window quickly because otherwise I I will get wet or so. But this night I, I was tired and thought, okay, if I just pull it down a little bit, so that basically it's a slope downwards, the water will just flow down and um, I, I will still dry, I, I will stay dry. But for some, some reason I think I haven't closed it enough or I don't know, but I woke up because I, I then felt some some water, some some little droplets of water on my on my face <laughs> so so I quickly closed the window and fell asleep immediately afterwards again so that's cool but this was weird this was, this was really a new experience luckily it wasn't a strong heavy rain or so this oh dear this would have been bad this would have been very surprising and bad for me so yeah what else? Is there anything else? I'm quite sure that there's something else, but I can't really remember it. Um, oh yes, um, there's one thing because with all this, the sports. I, I mean, I do way too much sports, basically. All this, this high amount of sports, 
auf Chris Nietzsche even more shirts for sports and shorts for sp sports because I can't wash that fast as I consume them. So I want to have some new shirts for cycling and running. I looked through Amazon, I found a few were looking good and I mean they were on the pictures worn by a male person that looked way stronger, way yeah, way way stronger, way more muscular than I am. And so I thought, okay, let's go for a medium size. And as as this delivery arrived I was super excited. Hey got new shirts. Wanted to put them on and one had a zipper going through the entire shirt so I could just open it like a vest or so. I put it on, I tried to close it and it was too too small. It was just too small. So I expected something like this because I also ordered a large one. The large one had only a zipper that um, goes maybe down to your belly or so, so it's just halfway through the shirt. I managed to get my head through this shirt maybe one arm, but then I got stuck. <laughs> so I, I wasn't even able to get into a shirt with large size. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I asked a friend who did and still does a lot of endurance sports and asked, am I fat for someone who does endurance sports? And she meant, no, actually you're quite slim. and. So her suggestion was that I maybe have ordered a kid's shirt or so, but no, I, I, I checked the labels again that it, it wasn't a kid's shirt. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's, what's the matter with that. Why I always have weird sizes or so. That, that's always my problem. I mean, sometimes a uh, medium size suits me well Sometimes a medium size is way too small and yeah, I, I, I just don't know. Sometimes I even need a, well, no, I don't think I, ha I have a small things. And even for my other sports shirts, I usually have medium ones. They are often a bit too snug. I mean, they are all right, but they are, they are very, not, not too, they, they are borderline, so. <laughs> Um, it's it's not that it looks weird or so on me, but I most mostly notice it afterwards, after the sports, when I'm sweated and so on, when the, the shirt is wet, it's super difficult to get out of the shirt because it's a little bit too snug and so it's, it's very hard to just get it off. So that's, that's also an interesting problem. That's a very interesting problem. Um, I ordered other shirts now. No, don't, don't throw the bed down. Ooh. Okay. Are we, are we... Here's a witch somewhere. Are we above a cave? Oh, yes, we are above a cave. Ha, um, I think we, we need to move. I don't want to sleep with a witch. Oh dear, there's no skeleton. Let's move over there and um, try to sleep at the shore. Ooh, look at the mountain. Ooh, hi. Let's try to to maybe sleep here or so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I know one thing for sure, and that is we are at the end of this episode and we are also at the end of the month. So if just just keep your fingers crossed for the next few days for me that maybe I get this, this minor revision done, maybe I get, well, I definitely will get this minor revision done that, that I will get it done. So cross your fingers for that. And also cross your fingers for, um, well, the triathlon, if I will take part in the triathlon. In general, just 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 keep the, your, your fingers crossed for me. I, I can use your help. I definitely can use your help. 
in uh, this case. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Seppi. See you! Thank you.